create material and let's type in wallpaper and then click OK. I'm going to select a wallpaper image that I already have. So you can actually load JPEGs um, into SketchUp from um, an external source to use in your elevation or your 3D model or your floor plan. I'm going to click on that box and I'm going to select this wallpaper and then click open. You'll see that the cursor has automatically changed to a paint bucket because we have loaded that texture and I'm going to click on that wall and you'll see that the JPEG of that texture has now been applied to that wall. In this section here we can increase or decrease the actual pattern so I'm going to increase the pattern and make it larger so that you can see uh, the problems that can happen when you don't apply a seamless texture. So let's just make that 400. And then click off that. So if we zoom in, you can see that this pattern isn't actually being repeated uh, properly because the original texture that we used wasn't seamless. What SketchUp does with textures and materials that have a pattern is it actually tiles them onto the face. So, they're, so this actual te texture or pattern is actually repeated or tiled onto the face. And if it isn't seamless, then it won't appear the way it should. So what you need to do is crop the images that you're going to load into SketchUp if they aren't already seamless. And I'm going to show you how to do that for this specific texture. Normally what I do is crop the JPEGs for specific textures or materials in Photoshop. And I do appreciate that not everyone taking this tutorial will have Photoshop. So I will just use uh, Windows to do this. So if I go into my computer and open that texture in Windows Live Photo Gallery, then select Edit, and then just double click on that. Then I'm going to select Crop. And what I want to do is make sure that every edge, so all four edges of the cropping area, has exactly half of the pattern on each side. So this is basically what I'm going to do. Let's bring that in here. So here is the pattern in its entirety, this section here. So I'm going to bring in, I'm going to crop this so that it's half that pattern. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. That's also going to be half. And then I'm going to bring this right down. So that it's halfway between this section and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So all four edges only have half of the pattern on each side and then press enter. And we're going to close that and we're going to save those changes. We're going to go back into SketchUp. We're going to deselect the texture that we put in and what SketchUp does automatically is leaves the RGB setting of the main color of the texture that you had originally imported. I'm going to select that box again and then I'm going to select the wallpaper 
or the texture that I cropped and then I'm going to select open and then so now it's auto automatically been loaded back into SketchUp again for this face. If we zoom in you can now see that this is a perfect replication of that pattern. It's very symmetrical and it's exactly as to how it should be in reality.